people uh, join in here. What were you just saying? Looks like just south of New Orleans now. Yeah, so we're waiting on the latest Hurricane Center update on Tropical Storm Barry, so bear with us here. If you guys are joining us just now, you're gonna get the heads up. We're waiting on that uh, new advisory. Uh, it should come out any moment now, just before 10 o'clock Central Time. Again, this morning it was kind of shifting north and west. Now it's shifting more towards uh, the north, and uh, it does look like we have some cautious good news here. I don't wanna jump to anything too fast, but some temporarily good news, I think, with the latest trend on this storm. So so again, join in if you would. Um, again, we're uh, looks like we're going from the ABC 13 weather page here. So I'm gonna let this get started. And if you guys wanna share this over potentially to the main page from the weather page, be fine with that as well. Again, uh, thank you guys for joining. We're on digital as well. Um, and we're gonna get started in just a second with this update. Again, just waiting for um, the latest Hurricane Center update. Again, this morning it looked like the not well-defined center of circulation was going to jog west, but now it's looking like it is starting to jog a little more north um, and all this thunderstorm activity. You see that big bulge right there to the north. That is the group of thunderstorms that is lifting more towards uh, Louisiana at this point. So uh, waiting on this update should come in pretty soon here. Our last update was about 15 minutes early. They're now 14 minutes until the top of the hour, so we'll see what they decide to do. Um, we are live as well. I'm on Instagram at ColinABC13 on my phone here, so you can get us from a little bit of a different view if you'd like to as well. Rachel Breyers just got here. We're all talking about everything, and um, she's back here as well. There, there we go, sneaking in. There you go, yeah. She's here, full house here. Uh, Travis is watching this as well. We're all texting about it. So uh, we'll wait for this, and I'll show you kind of some of the updates from this morning where this went and um, what's been going on until we get that next Hurricane Center update. So there's the, the big thunderstorm activity there, the broad area of convection. You can see what, what are called overshooting tops here in the middle. That really shows you there are thunderstorms to possibly 50,000, 55,000 feet there when you have those overshooting tops. It's like a supercell thunderstorm and you get those really strong storms. They break through, uh, barely sneak through what's called the tropopause and they'll bubble over right there, uh, right near the top of the wind shear line. So strong thunderstorms going up right in here that's on the northern sides. Uh, something to be at least attentive to is it looks like it's trying to gather itself together finally. It's been a weird looking tropical cyclone, right? This is not your normal tropical cyclone. Looks like it is trying to get its act together right here. Um, perhaps a common spin, a common center there, but uh, again, definitely looks like this thing is building towards the north. Let's uh, put on the latest stats and track from the 4 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center. Um, this one uh, looks like we just got it, 947. Did you get that? So now maximum winds are up to 65 miles per hour. Pressure still at 9 98. So this is not quite a hurricane and the pressure is going to be lower. They forecast now for it to be a hurricane at landfall. So that's new. The latest update now brings it in as a hurricane towards um, south central Louisiana, which is what we were thinking. Ted Oberg is there. Uh, anywhere from what I'm looking at, it looks like it might be near the Lake Arthur area up towards Lafayette, south central Louisiana. So again, if you would share, comment, react to this post, this is the latest update and this is good news if you're in Texas. Um, we're still not out of thunderstorm activity and I think this is something we're really gonna wanna watch and I want you to, to definitely pay attention to this. I think we're gonna see activity Saturday and Sunday night. Uh, in the form of strong thunderstorms. But the tie is on, good news here, this is shifting to the east. Unfortunately, if you have friends or family in Louisiana, wanna give them a heads up, looks like this will intensify to a hurricane. Let me get the timing on this for you. So they've slowed it down a little bit. Um, that second cone, um, what time does it have landfall? Would you take a look at that on, we're gonna take a look at that um, tomorrow. Saturday morning, so tomorrow morning now is kind of the time. Um, we're gonna read the discussion here, those of you joining us. So hurricane warnings remain in effect. Uh, hurricane watch is still in effect for the southern Louisiana coastline. Nothing here in Texas, which is good news. Those wind speeds are now up to 65 miles per hour. And again, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center has it up to a category one hurricane at landfall around late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Um, they're saying the initial motion is very erratic. While there's still larger than normal spread between a couple of the models that we've been looking at on the left side, 
side of the cone, they're going to trend to moving this towards the right, but they're also stressing there's still some uncertainty in this. And it certainly is something we're going to want to watch closely. If it does want to meander or change directions at the last moment, it certainly could. So again, that's going to bear watching. Um, again, uh, digital team, if we could, uh, let's share this over to the main page from the weather page. Uh, guys, share, comment, react if you would, and let's push that out if we want to. If you would update that web post once you get it, and yes, yeah, send that graphic. Okay. Perfect. So uh, it will be a category one hurricane, it looks like, upon landfall. Uh, I want to show you the latest uh, again this earlier this morning. Let me go back over the last 12 hours. You're going to see how first the storm uh, started moving a little more west and southwest right here. And now it's started to balloon more to the north. So good news there that it's encountered um, a better center of circulation and it looks like it's going to jog more to the north. Let's see, there's a danger of life-threatening storm surge inundation along the coast of southern and southeastern Louisiana, portions of Lake Pontchartrain and portions of coastal Mississippi where a storm surge warning is in effect. Water levels are already beginning to rise in these areas where the peak inundation is expected on Saturday. The highest storm surge inundation is expected between Intracoastal City and Shell Beach in Louisiana. So family or friends in that area, give them a heads up there. The slow movement of Barry will result in a long duration heavy rainfall and flood threat along the central Gulf Coast across portions of the lower Mississippi Valley and north into the Tennessee Valley through the weekend and in early into next week. Also, there is a tornado threat along the dirty side of this in the north, northeast, and eastern side, all of the northeastern quadrant and the eastern side of this as that moves ashore. All right, I do want to talk about what's expected here in southeast Texas real quick, and then we'll get back to showing you what's happened the latest, and then I'll let Rachel take over. Uh, this is certainly good news for us, so I'm cautiously optimistic, and I'll have to update over on my social media pages at ColinABC13, and we'll update the web, abc13.com slash weather, and we have a hurricane tracker on there for you. Cautiously optimistic here. It looks like we may see sun tomorrow and Sunday and today. I think we'll see thunderstorms each night possible, tomorrow night and Sunday night. Some of these could be strong, so here's what's going to happen. We could see a band, if not a few bands of thunderstorms set up on the southwestern side of this. So we are going to be impacted by Barry in terms of thunderstorms. Take a look at high res future track. This model starts to bring in activity late tonight to our east. It doesn't look like much, but keep in mind last night there were severe thunderstorm and marine warnings for Galveston and Chambers counties and some brief little spin up tornadoes can't be ruled out on the southwestern side of this. They wouldn't last long and they are not likely, but I think brief uh, heavy rainfall and severe thunderstorms can't be ruled out. Take a look though, Saturday through most of the day we get by with sunshine. It's going to be warm. The middle part of the day we'll see some clouds swirl in. Do also want to caution you in southeast Texas tomorrow afternoon we should see wind gusts pick up perhaps 20 to 25 maybe 30 miles an hour. You'll notice it'll be out of the ordinary. We'll be sunny and then all of a sudden clouds and winds will pick up out of the north and northeast and then thunderstorms should start in the afternoon like you're seeing there and then these could actually be quite a bit later. Looks like some stronger storms try to get going. Look at those late in the evening 7, 8, 9 p.m. And remember these won't die out necessarily due to sunset. It may last a little bit longer because these are associated with a tropical cyclone with a lot more forcing in the atmosphere. So Saturday night and then Sunday night, I think thunderstorms are certainly in play. Some of those could have um, potentially some heavy downpours. And if they sit in the same spots, which I don't anticipate, we could see a quick two to three inches of rainfall. So that's certainly still in play. Here's another model. Again, it actually shows thunderstorms starting earlier, one, two, three o'clock on Saturday. The heavier storms could start then later on Sunday night from what I'm seeing. Um, again, so that latest track did just jog slightly to the west. So for those of you just joining us, the latest out of what's expected here from what will likely become Hurricane Barry later today. It will likely make landfall sometime overnight tonight into tomorrow morning over south central Louisiana. This will be the first hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico for the 2019 season and uh, they're expecting it to make landfall as a cat one storm as we're seeing now. So there's the latest on tropical satellite. You can see it right there. What do I think about Galveston on Sunday, Taylor? I think you're looking just fine until later in the evening. So when thunderstorms should be more likely. Uh, um, again, how about Freeport? Again, most of us are going to miss this to the west. I think thunderstorms are possible mid to late day Saturday and then again mid to late day Sunday along with uh, some brief heavy wind gusts as well. So that's all going to be, we're all going to want to watch all of that as we go through uh, the next 48 hours. But certainly our thoughts and prayers, uh, we're going to be keeping uh, Louisiana in our thoughts and prayers as we go through the next 48 hours. Looks like they will take the direct hit if not south central Louisiana, perhaps just east of that. But uh, maybe Franklin, again up towards Lafayette Parish. Um, 
again, right along Highway 90, that is there. Lydia, there's St. Martinville. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the I-10 corridor here, very populated areas, uh, even just west of Baton Rouge and New Orleans. So um, it looks like New Orleans will be on the east side, so the dirty side of this. So that is not good news in terms of severe weather, tornadic potential, maybe some flash flooding uh, with the banding of this. But the, the exact location of the impact and of landfall should be over south central Louisiana. Again, that will take place uh, likely overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. All right, I want to try and answer some of your questions. Uh, again, certainly this is better news for us. We, uh, we will take this over uh, where it was projected to head uh, just a couple of days ago and where some of the models were showing and how it was trending this morning. Let's zoom back out. Let me pull the track up here for you. I know a lot of you are wanting to see that. Uh, maximum sustained winds now at 65. So Remember, tropical storm force winds go from 39 miles an hour to 73 miles per hour, correct? 73? I know the knots. I think it's 73. Yeah, and 74 would be a category one storm, but that pressure is too high to be. What pressure, about 990 or so and, and below is when we start getting into cat one ter territory. So we may see sustained winds just over and around the 75 mile an hour range uh, when this thing makes landfall over south central Louisiana. But the main uh, effects of this are going to be flooding and storm surge. So that's uh, where we think central and south central Louisiana could see 10, 10 plus inches of rainfall. All right, uh, we're going to get to some of your questions and then we'll keep this update going again. We'll update you throughout the day as well. but. Um, Nathan says UK Met still shows uh, state line. Nathan, yeah, that's, uh, is that the latest on the UK Met model? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it still is. So yeah, that one still trends further to the west. At this point, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna stick to the Euro on this. I think the Hurricane Center, they, they've mentioned that, but I think that that particular model has trended a little far to the west so far. And already we're seeing those thunderstorms erupt on the north side. I am hopeful that it sticks to this track as opposed to the UK Met. If it did do that, Houston would certainly see more uh, impacts from it. But I don't think we will at this point. If you're in Houston, things are looking pretty good so far right now. All right, is this storm going to impact New Caney with a lot of rain? Beverly, I don't think so. Again, scouted thunderstorms tomorrow night, Sunday night. We're headed to Florida on Sunday. Should we push the day we leave back? Uh, close call, depends on where, what route you're taking, but I would say back to Monday, yeah. They're leaving on Sunday to come back? They're leaving, I think, to go to Florida on Sunday. I would, I would wait until Monday if it still looks busy, if you're, if you're driving through Louisiana. Um, is there a possibility that it might move towards Houston the last minute? Linda, I can't rule it out. Uh, the one model um, Nathan was talking about earlier does still show that, but at this point it looks like it's starting to pick up speed and move to the north, so that's a, some good news for us here. Is it uh, dangerous for Houston, Rubina? I don't think so at this point. Uh, how's Galveston looking? A few thunderstorms in the next couple of days, but nothing crazy. What about southwest Houston? Things are definitely looking better for all around the Houston metro. How bad will this be for Lake Charles? Uh, Shauna, I think Lake Charles will be in the direct path. Uh, certainly could see five to around 12 inches of rain or so. Hard to tell at this point, but Lake Charles and central Louisiana uh, up towards northern Louisiana need to definitely be uh, watching this closely. Do you think the storms will call for flight cancellations on Saturday night? Depends on which airport, but I think out of Bush and Hobby, we're both going to be okay. It depends on how strong the storms are. I think you're going to be all right. Um, Texas City, nope. Again, if you're in the Houston area, just thunderstorm Saturday night and Sunday night, things looking pretty good. Anything that I've missed that you've seen? I don't see anything new on this. It just shifted the track a little bit west and it looks like a landfall will be a category one storm sometime yes. late tonight. Yeah, and really for Houston and Galveston, I mean, our percent chance, I mean, of same tropical storm winds is kind of, it's going Yeah, down. down to five to 10%. Yep, that's good news. So um, let me pull up exactly what Rachel was just showing you there. And then uh, it's, yeah, it looks like as we get closer and closer, the certainty increases and it looks like this is now going to make a landfall in central Louisiana. So we missed out on this one is what it looks like now. Again, I don't want to leave out the very outside chance, but things are certainly looking better for southeast Texas now. Looks like the heavier rain is going to be east of the Texas-Louisiana border. Um, they're showing tropical storm force winds actually moving right north for, it looks like right about Franklin in south central Louisiana. So a big heads up to those folks. Uh, we're keeping them definitely in our thoughts and uh, give family or friends a heads up if they live there. There's the latest satellite. So you can see it's now, it definitely is looking like it's turning more to the north and it is a strong group of thunderstorms up there. Uh, if this does for any reason decide to shift northwest, we'll be the first to let you know online, uh, on air, certainly a Facebook Live, certainly a push alert on your app. Uh, but as of right now, that's still going to the north. Is there an outside chance that could move more westerly, northwesterly towards the Texas-Louisiana border? Yes, but I think most of us at this point are looking quite a bit better if you're in Texas. All right, uh, react, share, comment.
comment to this post. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we'll keep you updated throughout the day. Rachel Byers is here. She'll take over from now and into the 11 o'clock hour. But uh, certainly a good update that just came in for uh, Southeast Texas on, from the National Hurricane Center here just before 10 a.m. Central. Again, uh, we'll keep you updated. Next one is scheduled for around 1 p.m. And we'll have the latest on that coming up. Thanks for joining.